a sweet introduction to polylogarithm function so basically let us go from the name itself polylogarithm we know about the logarithm function yeah log x so basically the series for log x is sum from n equals to 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power n plus 1 and then x to the power n by n so this is the series for logarithm function yeah now uh, we have poly or over here so basically in logarithm function we have n to the power 1 now if we want to generalize the power of n and remove this uh, alternating sign thing yeah if you want to make this as x to the power n by n to the power s this sum over here is considered as polylogarithm function of x okay now uh, if we take the special case where s equals to 1 in that case the polylogarithm function becomes a minus log of 1 minus x yeah so basically polylogarithm function generalizes the logarithm function and also an interesting observation is if we try to let x as 1 we get sum from n equals to 1 to infinity 1 by n to the power s which is just Riemann zeta function of s yeah so this includes both logarithm function as well as the Riemann zeta function in it yeah and uh, regarding some of the special values such as if s equals to 2 yeah this is known as dilogarithm function and it's popular dilogarithm function yeah its integral representation is also popular in next video we will try to see the integral representation for dilogarithm function and uh, yeah, so this is a sweet uh, def definition, introduction, and uh, an observation in polylogarithm function. Hope you are now introduced and look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos.